the combustion tube of your combustion IC system is essential for the proper functioning of this sample preparation technique. Aggressive samples can attack or even destroy the combustion tube. Also, incomplete combustion of your sample can lead to contamination of the system. These reasons can make the exchange of the combustion tube necessary. Hi, my name is Iris Rieber and in this video I will show you how this is done. Before you remove the combustion tube, make sure the oven has cooled down. In the first step, loosen the screw connection between the autoboat drive, ABD, and the combustion tube using the adjustable pin wrench. In the second step, remove the clamp at the exit of the combustion tube and separate the ball joints of the tube with the cool T-connector. In the third step, remove the connections for the water, carrier gas, as well as the flame sensor. Here, you need to be careful to stabilize the fragile quartz parts. In order to minimize the risk of breaking off the quartz connections, we recommend using couplings at the oxygen tube as well as at the water inlet capillary. This way, you can easily remove the combustion tube completely from the oven before you even have to manipulate the fast connectors. Now you can remove the fast connectors outside the oven without any space constraints. If you have trouble removing the fast connectors, you can use some water to help with the removal. Prepare the new combustion tube by cleaning it with ethanol on the outside. Be careful to never rinse the interior with any type of alcohol as the frit inside the tube absorbs the liquid and is then likely to explode when heated up. When handling the new combustion tube, always wear gloves. Touching the combustion tube with your bare hands will contaminate the new tube. In order to avoid breaking the connections of the combustion tube, we recommend adding the fast connectors outside the combustion oven. That way, you only have to connect the coupling after inserting the tube and can again handle the critical connections beforehand. Gently push the prepared combustion tube into the oven compartment. Then reconnect the different couplings. Make sure that all connections are gas tight. You can easily check if the system is gas tight by looking at the collection vessel. If you see gas bubbles after having started the gas flows, the system is tight. If not, check again all connections. Condensation at the tube inlet points to a gas leak at the sample sluice. Please check the connections there. You're probably wondering how often you should exchange the combustion tube. There is no definite answer to this question, as it depends on your samples and on the number of analyses you run. Performance of your combustion system is verified by analyzing certified reference materials. As long as the recovery is within the set specifications, there is no need to exchange the combustion tube. When the recoveries of all analytes in the CRM are out of range, you will need to investigate and possibly exchange the tube. 